Look, we're halfway to Santa! Yay. Oh, let's customize our plane again. Let's be... Yeah! Yeah. That's a tacky looking plane. We... Oh. Star! Come here! Yes! Delicious stars. Stars have to be delicious, that's why Mario eats them. At least that's what I assume he does when he collects them. Video games make a lot more sense if characters just instantly consume whatever items they get, because... You know, when you get a star, it just magically disappears. What else could he have done aside from eating it? It's the only thing that makes sense, eating stars. Which is a very good way to melt your teeth, by the way, so I don't recommend it. Unless you want to melt your teeth. 400. Yeah, let's save up for that better model. Nothing else we want to see with that final... The final thingy looks like. Final upgrade. Final upgrade thingy. Fly! I should probably get more of those stars. Those are... The gold stars are pretty much the best of the random power-ups that there are. This is a pretty good run. Especially with all those crane bonuses. Should definitely be able to get to that next plane. Oh, I missed a crane. Okay, I'm seeing how that better rudder could be helpful. I'm still not buying it, though. Yay for Star Struck Mess. If you have been struck by a star, please alert your local authorities. Also, you'd probably be dead, so I wouldn't recommend having that happen at all. $800. That's a lot of money for a random plane to have. Better model. Freaking jet thingy. It's awesome. Be some recycled paper here. Fly. We stars consume. Damn, that was a lot of stars. Got stars out the freaking wazoo up here. I wonder. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that stupid wind warning thing just to see what it does. I can't imagine how it could be useful, but that's what actually getting it would help for. Or something. I don't know what I'm saying, never mind. No, stars, come back. You are delicious. I shall consume you. Cranes, you are also delicious. Everything is delicious. I must eat it. Oh. I have no more. Yay, hourglass! We have been flying for whatever amount of time it said in the achievement. That was a pretty good run. Yay. Um, hourglass. Only one minute? Oh, I guess that means in one run. Lightweight, aerodynamic. Mm -hmm. Wind detector. Nah, screw that crap. Hurricane. Oh, good! That sounds way better than the stupid warning. Oh, let's have more throwing power. Because if it resists negative wind effects, then why do I care if it's a negative jet stream coming in? I can just freaking avoid it. Like a boss. Star struck. Like a boss. We. Star! Oh. Going kind of fast to control. And a meta fuel. Yay for crane bonuses. I get pretty good distance when I just fly in a straight line and waste all of my fuel. It's kind of impressive. Oh, come on, windmill! You guys never help. 
You guys freaking union workers or something? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah, I have no need for that. Kind of want that. Don't need that. Hmm, it's pretty cheap. Oh, better engine. That sounds good, actually. I guess this is a better rudder control. Yeah, it's better. We. Can't tell how much better the jet engine is, though. I'll just have to trust that it's better, I guess. We. Crane. Er. Star. Is there, like, a name for this genre? I've played lots of games where you just, you know, generally flying in a direction and you get points for how much distance you go and how high you go, but it's very hard to succinctly describe, so I'm not sure what you would call it. The earliest one I think I played was that game where you're... You hit some dude when you're on a bike, and he goes flying and you bounce his, like, body. This doesn't make any sense to you, just... Nod your head. Or don't, because I can't see you anyway. Yay, crane bonuses! Yay for flying straight with nothing holding, with no freaking help. And dive. Yay. We're almost out of Egypt! Oh, I think there's a swan dive achievement that's pretty easy to get that I got. Yeah. I got this on my first throw my first time because I just picked it up and dropped it. And you just go straight down at terminal velocity. Um, what do we want? What do we want? I think I want that. Being light is always good. Well, in this game anyway. I'm not sure how heavy a paper airplane, paper airplane could be anyway, but whatever. Lots of stars and no freaking cranes. Crane, no. Crane, no. Okay, no. Let's not stall. Stalling is generally bad. Generally, stars, delicious. Yep, oh, and I'm out of fuel. Going to windmill? Oh. Those windmills do not want to help. Freaking unhelpful jerk faces. Um. Mm, let's just save up. <laughs> 25 meters per second? In a freaking paper airplane? Good luck. I'm sure it's, it's obviously possible, but I haven't been getting anywhere close to it. Whoa, that was not bright. Flying towards the ground is generally not advised, unless you are trying to land. And landing in a paper airplane that does not clearly does not have any sort of landing gear would generally be a bad idea. Generally. There are exceptions. Like when you have a crane bonus. We. Yay. I swear I do better when I don't do anything than when I try and do stuff. Almost a thousand freaking bucks. We are almost out of here. Let's wait for another better model. So we're getting kind of close. That was a terrible throw. I am terrible. So let's fly like straight freaking up. Well, that fuel lasts a long time. That actually got pretty good for me just desperately trying to fly up. Except not completely out of fuel. So let's ha watch how she crashes. Mm. 
I said, let's watch how she crashes. We're up. We were up pretty high, though. There we go. Windmill? Anybody? Nope. No windmill for me. And we're almost out of Egypt. Still. We'll probably have enough money by the time we come to China or wherever the next place is. Oh! Oh, that's what jet streams are! Uh oh. That sort of murdered me. Alright, so when you can fly really high, then you want the jet stream warnings. I guess. I thought those gusts of wind would be the jet stream, but I guess that doesn't make sense, does it? But whatever. As far as you can fly up that high, that's what upgrades are for. I better have enough money for that stupid next plane upgrade or I'm gonna be annoyed. Yay, plane. I did get enough, didn't I? Ah, we're in Africa, and this kid's all like, yeah, I have yarn or spaghetti or something. There's a pterodactyl flying overhead. He's like, what the heck, I have a paper airplane. It's a dead bird now. Which is disturbing. I'm a disturbed child. I throw you back now, and I am happy. And it magically flies in formation with the rest of the birds. We are now in Zebraland, which is a little known country in Africa. There's a freaking space shuttle, that's awesome. Let's make it black for some reason. Yeah, it's not really NASA colored, but whatever. Giraffes! Huzzah, giraffes. Wee. Let's try flying, like, super up again. Just below the stupid jet streams, though. So those are stupid, and they are jet streams, and I don't like them at all. Also, I can now actually spend money now that I have all of the upgrade, the ship upgrades out of the way. Because there are like several upgrades I've completely ignored. I probably should not have, but whatever. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. This game is hard to comment on. I just thought I should do something since I haven't done something in forever. Oh, if you haven't figured it out, I'm back to where I can do recordings again. As I float gracefully through the air. And... Conk. I land, like, above the grass. That's interesting. My zebra land. What a majestic country zebra land is. With the zebras and not much else, really. It's for flight. I want to try that. I'm going to save up for that Rainbow Stars crap. Sounds pretty cool. I'm assuming Rainbow Stars like give you a boost or give you more money or something. I don't know. I just know that I want them. That is my sound bar. You can see it. Not sure what I'm doing. Star! Now I know what I'm doing. Yes! Fly straight up into the air for no reason and destroy my chances of doing anything useful. How does it stall? I don't have engines. Well, I do have engines, but... Still, whatever. Shut up. I don't have enough money for rainbow stars. Mumble. Grumble. Rest. Rest. Star struck, yay. Crane bonus. Let's eat some frickin' cranes. They taste like endangered, which means delicious. Don't eat cranes. I am 
saying this purely for comedic purposes. I do not actually know what cranes taste like. So I do not know whether they are delicious or not. And while it would make a good experiment, I do not recommend eating any cranes yourself. I don't even know where the hell cranes are from. They are apparently in Zebraland, though. Which is odd, because you'd think Zebraland would only have zebras, but it is clearly a more biodiverse climate than its name would imply. I think that's a pretty good distance, isn't it? Oh, let's not crash just yet. Now let's crash. We Plonk. Now we can buy the freaking magic stars, or whatever the hell. Magic stars! Delicious. What button do I press? Start the rainbow! It's like tasting the rainbow, except just starting it. Which isn't really like tasting it at all. I'm gonna wait for some... things. Crane bonuses before I do the thing. The stars. Um, maybe not, let's just... Oh, whoa. Get, get those, yes. I guess they're just worth twice as much and they push you forward, I guess. Oh, that was pretty short. It would have helped if I actually hit, like, more than one of them. But yeah, that seems helpful-ish. I probably actually should have gotten that a lot sooner. But I don't know. Because it's like a once-a-trip bonus, so you may as well get the damn thing. Train bonus! Come on, more cranes! Oh, I'm all out of crane. Don't you hate it when you're out of crane? It's like being out of something that you need. Wee. Ooh, 500 meters, that's pretty good. Save me, windmills! Save me! Splat. You didn't save me, windmill! You know what? You, you suck, sir. You are a bad windmill. I do not care for you at all. Super engine. Super engine, crane duration. I don't know what we want. What do we want? Well, I don't care about that. I don't care about anything at the bottom, except the crane duration. Let's just get more jet engine, yes! More engine-ness. Also, why do I have to click to start the rainbow? Because I usually- up. Oh, that was lucky. I'm exclusively using the keyboard for in-flight controls, except for that stupid rainbow thing, so... They really should just be mapped to a button, in my opinion. So when you make users switch input devices, you can cause a lot of problems. So just always try to keep that minimal and to where it's absolutely necessary. Because I could easily, you could easily just make it control or Z or something. Um, there, crane bonus. Crane bonuses apparently don't affect the star. Come on, no! Give me, oh, it does... I guess they are normal stars, as far as the cost, they just boost you up. That's good to know. As we careen hellishly towards the Earth. Oh hey, those magically straighten you too, that's very nice. I love when things magically straighten my plane. Oh no wind thingies. When was the last time I even hit a damn windmill? Like 18 years ago? When I was two? I think that's the last time you helped you stupid things. Let's be aerodynamic or something. Not sure why I picked that at all. But let's try to increase our velocity since I get bothered to get it. Start the rainbow. I suppose I should start the rainbow when I'm out of um, fuel. 
So that way my plane can just bump into them and keep going. But I did not think of that because I am stupid. I'm also very bad at hitting cranes. Any man worth his salt would be uh, better at hitting cranes or something. I have no idea what I'm saying. I like not having an idea what I'm saying. It makes life interesting. So does consuming large amounts of crane and star. It's also most hallucinogenic, you might say. It's also illegal in the state, so I wouldn't say it. Um, more throwing power, sure. Throw power, go! Throw power, fail? What the hell? I broke it again. Well, that's another video, because I broke it. Again. At the 20 minute mark, again, too. That's lovely. Oh, hey, there it goes. Let's finish this round and then end it. Stars! While I really like showing off this game, it was a very odd thing to commentate. But I guess I may as well finish since I already started, so what the hell. Because I've been sitting here for like a half hour just yelling at stars and cranes. Which I usually do anyway, but I usually don't record it when I yell at stars and cranes. It's more of a private moment, honestly. So let's go into the stars. And start the rainbow. Start the rainbow, damn it! Very good. Oh, come on. You call that a rainbow? Oh. Let's see how far we can go. We got some pretty good speed going up there, though. Not bad for what I thought was going to be a totally failed run. Not bad at all. See if we can go a thousand meters. I kind of doubt. Yeah, I kind of doubt it unless we get some course correction going on here. 800? 800. Oh, Mr. Windmill! You are of absolutely no help, Mr. Windmill. I'm thoroughly disappointed in you. Thoroughly, thoroughly disappointed. I'm going to get more fuel and end the video, I guess.